Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to edit digital photographs with Paint.net. It's for Windows PC, it's for computing, and it's for children ages 7 to 9. To do this lesson, you need to make sure that Paint.net is installed on your school network, and this is the website where you download Paint.net from. Now, you also need to have an area on the network to save your files, of course, and you can decide if you want to have your own photos, which you can use freely, or search for some photos on the internet. Now, just a quick note on doing that, you need to go to, when you go to Google Images, uh, if you go to Usage Rights, More Tools and Usage Rights, then you can do this one, you can reuse it again and make money from the images and change it, or you can do this one, you can uh, label it for non-commercial reuse with modification. All right, so choose one of those, and then you'll be able to use images that you're allowed to. All right, so the lesson concepts today, uh, to use images with permission and to learn the photo editing vocabulary. Now the easy activities are to crop an image and to make it even easier you can even overlay a, a guideline like this and just darken and lighten some images. So let's have a look at how to do that. Uh, this is the opening screen on paint.net and then you need to go to file and open. Alright so then I've got some different images and the first one can be the, the crop image. So double click to open the image. And then the first thing I'm going to do down here is the zoom. So I'm going to make it a bit further out, zoom in and out. And then you go to the square here, rectangular select. And then we just make it a little rectangle around the image like that. And then after that, we can go to image and this one, crop to selection. All right, so an image where you would want to lighten or darken the image, like this one, the house here. So you have a house like this, and I'm going to zoom up. And to do that, you go to adjustments, and then go to brightness and contrast. So for this one, I can move this out of the way, and just simply turn up the brightness, maybe a bit of contrast as well, just depending on how it looks. So you might like to get the children to do a before and after view of um, how they went. So something like this. So to get them to copy and paste the image uh, before the image was edited and then paste it after it was edited. I'm using Google Docs for this, but any word processing software will do. All right, some activities which are a bit more difficult, the medium activities, uh, to flip an image vertically or horizontally and to also to resize it to specific measurements. So I'll show you how, so I'll show you how to do that. To go to the tiger, we want to flip the image. So we just, uh, so it's a good point in talking about horizontal and vertical. So I want to flip horizontal, and there we go, the tiger's walking from the other side all of a sudden. So that's quite easy as well. The other thing, you might like to give a challenge to children to resize it to a specific measurement. So this one, uh, it's, now the idea of pixels. So a pixel is a very, very small um, picture element on the screen. So maybe this can be 800, and then all of a sudden it's keeping it in proportion. So um, the height has changed as well. So when we do that, you can see that it's changed the size, and then save. So that's quite straightforward as well. So now let's have a look at a challenge activity, and that's to combine two images in different layers. So this will be the finished product. So to do that, you go to paint.net and open. And then first of all, we can open the background like that. And then once again, go to open and then open the other picture. So maybe a cartoon character or an animal or, or something like that. Okay, so I've got two images. Now we want to select a part of this image, copy it and paste it onto the background. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool here and start to draw the rectangle. All right, and then go to copy or another, the button um, up here. Let's zoom up a little bit there. Copy. And then go back to the background layer and then edit. Now there's three different um, options for paste and this is important. You have to paste it into a new layer. If you just click paste, it's going to replace the image. So paste it into a new layer. All right. And this is way too small, so we can use these handles at the bottom here to resize the image like that. 
and drag it down there. Okay, so remember that this is a layer on top of the background. So now when we go to the delete tool, um, which is just here, when we start deleting, it will not have the layer appear. All right, so then uh, we can choose the brush width for that because uh, two is way too small for this and something like 30. And then we can start to erase. No, 30 is way too small still. Let's put 100. Okay, so once again, remind the children to use these zoom tools down here. It's plus and minus. And then very carefully, uh, go right near the edge of the elephant. Now make sure you choose uh, a picture that um, has quite a sharp image at the side. So um, something furry might not work because it will be too hard to erase it properly. So that's why I've chosen an elephant in this case. All right, you can see the process of it's a bit slow. And I'll skip to when I've completed all of the editing. All right, so now I've finished erasing the part of the unwanted background of the elephant. I'm now ready to save. Now there's just a few points when you go to save. File and save, of course. And just down here, when it says save as type, you don't want to save it as a paint.net image. So uh, you can save it as a JPEG image, a bitmap image, PNG image. Uh, most of these will be fine, actually. But the standard one is JPEG. Like most photographs are JPEG. Call it a sensible name. Finished uh, elephant. And then we can click save. And it will just ask uh, the preview for what it should look like. That's OK. And then it will say, hey, we've actually got two images here on top of each other. We need to flatten it to one layer. So that's fine. Just click flatten. But of course, the children can go and find their own images, uh, but they should really enjoy it. And they understand how um, magazines can uh, alter photos so easily. To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides used in this tutorial, visit letslearncomputing.com. While you're there, please subscribe to the Let's Learn Computing YouTube channel so you don't miss a tutorial. I'm Todd Colwell, thanks for listening and see you next time.